Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of the No Money Spent. So a lot of content dropped today. We're going to pretty much go over everything that we ended up completing. We got tops now. We have a new conquest board for the Atlanta Braves. They had their City Connect uniforms and we pretty much finished that stuff up. There's also a new program with eggs that's pretty much a scavenger hunt. So we'll kind of just go over that content. And we might be unlocking a 99 overall player today in Jazz Chit's home. I think we have enough to get that done. So let's take a look at the content and some of the stuff that dropped today. So we'll start off with the Conquest board just because, you know, that's new. There's hidden rewards and stuff there. So as far as this board goes, you have the Atlanta Braves City Connect and acquiring seven mil fans gets you 200 stubs so capturing the brave stronghold will get you this braves icon and then you get the brave city connect banner for taking the padre stronghold and then for the uniforms capturing the braves biggest rivals the phillies so once you get the phillies and the Mets stronghold you will get this bat skin and then when you complete the whole board you get the city connect uniforms for the atlanta braves which I will say, you know, they do look pretty nice. I like I like the uh, the two tone right there with the sleeves. I think those are my favorite jerseys whenever the sleeves are different colored like that. So I like this uniform, but, you know, I'm not a Braves fan, so I don't really care. Um, anyways, you got four games to play. You know, it's a pretty simple board. As far as the hidden rewards go, you got seven show packs. So the Brave Stronghold at the, the left gets you a five pack bundle and then you also get a ball and is a habit pack so seven eight packs all together eight packs all together which you know it's only four games so it's not bad but those are the hidden rewards now let's take a look at the other programs so we do have the april tops now those are brand new for today we ended up finishing them up so right now you pretty much need 26 points and there's a few diamonds that you can end up getting so really quick, just going over what you have to do. You got moments. So there's a few moments. I think three, four, five, six, seven, eight moments that you have to do. Don't really take that long. I feel like they were pretty simple. So you got to do those. You have to start with the moments. You have to start with the moments. And then once you get some of these players, I think you'll end up having four players. You have to get a thousand parallel XP with them. And that'll get you six program points. And then you're going to get a tops now flashback player. So I obviously opened that up because we had to, you know, get him to get this whole program done. So I went with Ryan McMahon and for him, you have to get five extra base hits. You also have Gary O, uh, Michael King and Noah Syndergaard as other options. These ones will each give you four, but you only get one of those. So the Top Now program is a little bit different this year. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's different. So again, once you do the moments, you'll get this flashback pack right here. Like I said, I took Ryan McMahon has good power numbers. I pretty much just took him because I thought I could sell these guys. You can't sell them. They're all no sell cards. So that's one of the changes with Tops Now this year. All the Tops Now cards, as far as the ones you get from the program, are no sell. So big change. I was just trying to get through it to see if I can sell, make some profits. You can't do that. But I took Ryan McMahon uh Guriel, you know he has great contact numbers i probably would have taken michael king if i knew otherwise just because he's a solid bullpen arm got good hit per nine and k per nine numbers got the good pitch repertoire and then you also got noah Syndergaard, which i don't really think looks that good but he does have a good pitch repertoire so you get one of those guys you got to do their missions and then you got the tops now set so pretty much you get these four cards right here and these four you have to get a thousand parallel xp with you know, unless you finish up that flashback mission, then you're only going to have these four to do the missions with. And then again, if you finish up that mission, you'll have these five or these six. But I only had four players to get a thousand parallel XP with. We pretty much use these players while doing the conquest board. So this was the first thing I went into. And then, you know, we got these players jump into conquest. And then I pretty much just played like one inning in CPU games to get some of these extra parallel XP missions and get the extra base hits with McMahon. So that's the way I did it. But as far as tops now, you got Corey Jolks. So, I mean, looks like a well-rounded hitter, you know, well-rounded card. You have Kyle Lewis, good power and numbers against lefties. You have Steven Kwan, great contact hitter. You have Mitch Garver, 
pretty good power hitter. You know, he has pretty nice hitting attributes. You have Senga, which has good hit per nine, 100k per nine, not bad. I actually like his pitch repertoire. He has a fastball, you know, his ghost fork ball at 85 and 90 cutter and an 83 slider. I kind of just wish he had a fifth pitch, but for the four pitches he has, you know, he doesn't look like a bad card. You got CJ Crone, really solid power numbers, good against righties. You got Adam Duvall, great power numbers. I feel like he could have got a better card or a player of the month card. So they definitely gave him a top snow card pretty quick. And then you also get a ball in his habit. You get show packs too along the way. No show packs, but you do get some stubs. Obviously, you get some XP. And then the last guy is Jeffrey Springs. Good hit per nine and K per nine numbers. Actually, pretty, pretty nice. Lefty also. You know, we don't have that many lefties, but pitch repertoire. Hmm. 91 fastball, 81 circle change, 85 slider, and a 79 sweeping curve. So interesting pitch mix right there. But he had, I think, like six no-hit innings. So he looks, uh, he looks pretty solid, I guess. You know, the numbers, the attributes are good. I don't really know about the pitch repertoire, but the attributes on this card look pretty nice. So that's the April Tops Now set. And it looks like, you know, we'll, we'll definitely be getting more of them. Like this, this program will continue because you should have to have like these other three players, you know, eventually. So it doesn't really matter who you pick the first time around, but you should be able to get all four of them. So that's that program. And then a new thing that dropped is the Great Egg Hunt. So we're not, we haven't done any of this yet. We'll probably do it for tomorrow. But for most of these like hidden eggs, I'm pretty sure you're just going into like BR events, rank seasons, maybe co-op, mini seasons, stuff like that. Like this egg right here, you got to play the Orioles or the Blue Jays or the Cardinals. So we'll have all of these tomorrow, but there is some nice diamond rewards here. So, you know, we'll definitely be trying to get this done and, you know, go over everything then. But that is something new that dropped. Next thing really quick, we'll just go over just because it's brand new is a new event. So I did say I would post events gameplay like for the last event when we got to our last game. I started recording for the last game that I had. I took three balls. The guy ended up quitting. So there was just no gameplay to show. But I did get those cards in uh, Luis Urias, Pete Alonzo, and Mookie Betts. And I did hold on to those guys. For this event, you got Vinny Castilla for 15 wins and Gary Sheffield for 25 wins. And people already got him. That's crazy. But this event is a little bit different. We'll definitely play this to get 25 wins. But you have quick counts enabled and three inning games on All-Star. So quick counts, definitely a change. You know, I think that's going to make these games go by a little bit quicker. So getting 25 for this event doesn't seem like it's going to take. Er, I mean, it all it's all skill level, right? It depends how long it takes for you. Like last event, I think I went 25, 25 and 7, maybe 25 and 8, somewhere around that. So it all depends. You know, I never like saying, oh, something's easy because not everyone plays the same. But for me personally, I, I normally, when it comes to events, win like 70% of my games. Like I expect to go 25 and 10. That's kind of how I see it. But we got this event. We'll definitely be trying to get this Gary Sheffield and we'll show off the gameplay. This ends on April 21st. So we got a lot of time. We got a lot of time. I think I might try to knock this out this weekend though. And maybe we sell the rewards, you know, in the weekend and then buy them back towards the end of the program or at the end of the event on the 20th. So that's that might be our plan. That might be our plan. Anything else that we got? We do got packs to open up. But let's see. Let's take a look at these collections really quick, because now that we got all those tops now guys and they're no sell, we can just lock them in. So that's kind of the good thing that they are no sell. You know, I know some people like to get them and sell them, but. Since they're no sell, you can just directly lock them in. So I think we might have enough for, for Jazz Chisholm, which would be pretty nice. Now, I technically have enough for Trey Turner, but I don't want to lock in a lot of the no sell card. I, I don't want to lock in cards that are not no sell just because, you know, we can maybe sell them, you know, if we need it for extra stubs. I don't really know, but we're going to see where we're at with just no sell stuff and then yeah i think we need 75 so i think i think we got that number i think we got that number to get jazz chis home and then pretty soon we'll, we'll definitely be locking in for trey turner so that's not bad right there let's see what else do we have that's no sell 
I think that's pretty much it. We we were picking up a few of these World Baseball Classic cards. That's where all our stubs are right now. So, you know, I think I think we got a good amount of those, but we'll see if we end up profiting at all. I don't know if those are looking good right now, but we'll definitely keep an eye on them. So we got a lot of these cards. Let's see anything else that we can lock in. Those were all the no sells. Yeah, it looks like that was all the no sells that we ended up having. All right, so not bad. We're gonna end up getting 82 cards that are, are locked up and we're gonna get this 99. Did we lock this in? Let's lock that in. We're gonna get this 99 Jazz Chisholm, which doesn't look bad. He has 101 contact versus righties, 82 versus lefties, 114 power versus righties, 82 versus lefties. Has 96 speed, we really like that. And it looks like his defense was pretty good, right? Not Trey Turner, Jazz Chisholm. Defense, yeah, diamond tier defense. I will say the one nice thing about this card, he can play a lot of positions. So you definitely can fit him somewhere. And again, there's not that many good lefty pitchers out there. So he's really good against righties. He could be a nice option for, for right now. So we got, we got the cover athlete, Jazz Chisholm. And I like where we're at. So really quick, just like for, uh, for scoping things out, if I weren't to sell these cards, which I really don't know what I want to do yet, we, we are at 122 cards. So we can have Trey Turner and we're really close to getting a Babe or Chipper. I probably will take Babe first, but those guys, those guys are in the horizon. You know, if we can make some stubs flipping a little bit, maybe we start working on those live series collections and finishing those up. And then we get a set one collection maybe by the end of next week. We'll have to see. But I think because we just got Jazz, we'll have one of these. I think we should be able to have an XP reward path spin. Yeah, so let's see what we get out of this. This could uh, this could be pretty big. So I'll open this right now. And then I also have a clip of another one that we ended up getting last night. But let's see if we get anything good right here. We're going to get Diamond. Stop. Ooh, gold. Okay, around the world choice pack two. Oh, they changed the rewards. They changed the rewards here. Oh my goodness. Okay, because these were around the world pack once. So real quick, I'll show you guys my pack from yesterday that I got late last night. We ended up getting the around the world pack one in that one. So actually back to back golds, which I guess isn't bad. But this is kind of surprising now because I was wondering why some of these guys were going down in price. And this may be the reason why. But either way, we, we got the Around the World 1. I opened it right away just to see if I could get Trout. We obviously didn't get that. But now we have this pack. So that makes things interesting. And let's see. Overall, 7 show packs, 2 ball in. We got an NL West Charisma pack and the Around the World 2 pack. So... Let's open these up. I don't know if we have enough luck for a diamond, but I also think we're due for a diamond. Our show packs haven't been that good lately. So you never know. You know, sometimes seven packs is enough. We got a diamond glove. I like that. How much is it going for? 17K. Beautiful. That's probably better than a diamond, to be honest. So I'll definitely take that 17K. I like that. We got Jeff McNeil right there. Let's see what we can get in these last three. Oh, and a diamond. Let's go. Purple lights. Give me someone we don't have. Give me someone expensive. <laughs> Give me someone we don't have and someone that's expensive. We are going to get a Philly, Trey Turner. You know, we were kind of just talking about him for the big collection. But hey, Trey Turner's a dub. We don't have him. So we will, we will gladly accept that one. We will gladly accept that one right there. He's going for how much? 15K. We like that. And that's a collection we got to work towards too. So, like I said, sometimes seven packs is enough. That's why. Oh, you're going to chase back. Give me, give me some more love. Give me some more love. Wow. Shohei Otani, that would be pretty nice. Let's open up these two balling. Man, if we can hit something big out of that, that would be crazy. Can the balling show me some love? Because they never do. Batista right there. Let's go NL West Charisma Pack. And let's see if we get anything here. Let's see. We got Jock Blackman or Christian Walker. Oh, no, we already got Jack. We got Soto, I mean. Um, let's see. Let's see. I kind of I kind of like Juan Soto. I kind of like Juan Soto. The reason I won't take Blackman, I literally just got 2,500 parallel XP with Rocky players, so I wouldn't use him anytime soon. But Soto, you know, we definitely can, and he's a nice bat. 
Yeah, he's he's definitely a nice pass. So we'll take Juan Soto there. I guess we gotta save the chase pack for last. So for this pack, we have a chance at Edwin Diaz, Kyle Tucker, or Manny Machado. Those are the big guys, and then all these other guys that we already invested in before. Can we get the rare round for the one time? Let's see. Rare round? No rare round. Mmm. Kind of rough. I'll actually just take the player that I don't have. And there's that. Now we got the chase pack. We just want a diamond. It doesn't have to be that 99 Otani. I really don't care. We just want a diamond here. You know, we got lucky enough to get one. Ah, oh, it hurts. It hurts. No diamond in the chase pack. You might as well not give it to me. You might as well not give it to me. We got Felix Batista again. Oh, man. Got my hopes up for nothing. But still, you know, I'm happy with Trey Turner. We got Jazz Chisholm also for the 99. It would have been pretty nutty if we got another diamond right there in those seven packs. But, hey, I guess, I guess they just gave us a chance. They got our hopes up and gave us a chance. So, really quick, let's look at our main squad. We'll generate best squad. And I guess this is what it's looking like. This is what they think is our best squad. Uh, do I agree? I don't know. But Jazz Chisholm now on the, the roster, the lineup, and some of our bench players that we have, all these 99s. So um, I like where we're at. I really like where we're at. And we'll have to, you know, just keep pushing a little bit. We got the event to work on. We also have, you know, we still got to do some BR. We haven't gone through that program a little bit. And hopefully this weekend, I actually start the rank seasons grind because I always save it to last minute and then we never make World Series. So we do got to start that soon, but I think we definitely will. I just been so focused on trying to get this offline stuff out of the way so I can just purely play online. So pretty much, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's pretty much it. You know, we're, we're pretty much at the same spot as yesterday, I think, for Team Affinity. We're at 67% to, I guess, 81%. So the NL East is moving on along. And I really just want to get this done before I really just start focusing on online. But we'll definitely have some online gameplay. I don't want to say this weekend. Like, I know I've been saying we would have some but i really don't know you know we definitely will have a lot next week i think i might just this weekend grind out some more offline stuff so we can just get right to just playing online every single day and just focusing on that because it is also kind of hard jumping from like playing offline to online because the pitch speeds you know i'm playing on rookie and then going on all-star i'm late as hell all the time so i want to be able to get this stuff done so i can just play purely online the right difficulty and not have that many adjustments to make per day. But we made some nice progress today. You know, we got the tops now done. We got 99 Jazz Chisholm. We finished up the new Conquest map. And I don't know, we probably have to do another mini season just to get some more of this team affinity progress. We also will be playing this event. You know, I think, I think we'll try to get the event done this weekend. 25 wins, you know, quick counts. I don't really think it's going to take that long, but that's going to do it for this one. Let me know what you guys are working on. If you guys need any help for anything, let me know down below in the comments. And then if you guys packed anything good, also let me know. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys for watching and I'm out.